Morning ladies, morning ladies. I'm still with my iPad. So, so happy with it. I'm off today to do a talk to the Kensington and Chelsea Ladies Association and I'm quite excited to do that. Um, and I'm just going to do a skincare routine to get that going. Um, I just wondering if I move this a bit. It seems lower. Hold on. I'm now trying to get my technology sorted. Let's get that up a bit. Oh, no, the window. There, is that better for me? Yes, that is better for me. Hello, ladies. Good morning. <laughs> Just technology here in the bathroom. Um, now, my little regime that I'm doing at the moment that I thought I'd share with you, I'm doing all my vitamins again, and I'm doing every morning um, turmeric, and ginger shots. I don't know how many of you use turmeric, but I love it. Very anti-inflammatory, incredibly good if you're feeling a little bit coldy. Ginger, wonderful too. Um, it's a sort of medicinal aid in its purest form. I mean, this is a shot, which I'm going to do now because I need to be really alive and awake. This is pure ginger. Just, I feel it burning through my system, but gives you such a wake-up call. Um, how many of you have been trying out the meditation? I've been doing it. I did it yesterday. I haven't done it today, but if you'd like to, we uploaded the Facebook meditation with Sanjay onto the blog, which was a much better recording than the unfortunately quiet recording we did on Instagram, but we recorded on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook was much better. So if you feel you want some inspiration for January, if you're feeling a bit sluggish, if you're feeling that you just kind of don't know what direction you're going, you just don't have motivation, then so worth a listen because he's very good at focusing us and getting us to feel great inside with this energy and then feel the strength to go and do anything we want to do this year. So just a little New Year's. We can still say New Year's resolution. I'm not sure. Um, I'm speaking today as well about acid peels, and whilst we're here, I'm just going to do this one, but I was just doing some for Instagram. AHA, £6.90, I think, from um, The Ordinary. And because it's not very expensive, I've actually been experimenting on my left hand for a week with this peel, and I'm doing it every couple of days. So if any of you have been in the sun and you feel, mm, my hands are a bit age spotty-ish, and you're definitely out of the sun, really good to, um, to consider doing some peels. And this one you leave on for 10 minutes. It's a mixture of alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxyl acids. And it's got in it um, Tasmanian pepperberry, which helps reduce inflammation on the skin. So it kind of works um, sloshy off the thin skin cells without irritating your skin so much. I've got a few other peels which are quite strong. One incredibly expensive one, but it's like my party special is the Natura Bisse glycolic. Um, but that one does leave a real tingle. I've used one this morning, which, well actually I used it last night, which was the Julia Hunter peel. This is one that you keep on and I micro needle at night. So when I felt that my skin need some needs to look at the next day one of the regimes that i do at night is to double cleanse my face and then put on the julia hunter peel um but i micro needle before and then i put on the peel and then i micro needle again and then i put a vitamin c on the night G L um dcl vitamin c night booster but i wake up the next day like this morning i woke up and i really felt um the benefit to my skin so consider during January, we've got a lot of central heating on, we've got many more elements that make us have a lot more dead skin on our face and it's just getting it off and sloshing it off and, and that to me is the way I love to do it the most. Um, I'm going to go straight to my makeup routine this morning. If any of you would like to see any particular colours on, I'm very happy to try some new ones today for you. Um, I've got on my classic when I don't know what to wear top. This is my MGSM top and it can be polo neck like that. Um, but I feel that's really full on. And sometimes when I, I do this trick a lot, if I've got something with a zip at the back, I'll just tuck it in. And because I have quite a long neck, <clears throat> I sometimes think that ends at a weird place. If I had a shorter neck, it would be like that. And I think that looks great. 
and it's not so tight. So if I want to wear it properly, I, I need a safety pin there to give that real tight Nefertiti neck. But otherwise, I tuck it in and fold it over. I do this with a tremendous amount of tops. And I just feel that gives me a better neckline for my rather long neck. Um, okay, let me just say good morning as I drop everything here. Um, and I will post up about those peels in the next couple of days. Uh, what happened to my hand? I, I'm trying a peel on it. I'm doing the ordinary AHA, BHA peel. Uh, I've got it on one hand and not on the other. It's a 10 minute thing, so at the end of this I'll take it off. Um, any suggestion for a daytime modern look with darker crease colour? Want to wear it now, but not sure what to pair it with. Oh, a daytime moon look. Yes, I can do a daytime moon look. That's a really interesting idea. Let me just get, because the moon would go so well with what I'm wearing. Just see if I can find moon. There's moon. There. So I could do a daytime moon. That's nice. I'm going to put that out there. Um, do I know the brand Menard Face Cosmetics? I don't. Uh, Japanese brand, in my opinion. I don't. I love new brands, so please um, keep them coming and I'll, I'll look, look them up. Can I do a jewellery cull? I am doing that next. I don't know how many of you watched my scarves cull. It was more a scarf styling film, but a few of you follow me on Instagram say, how do I get to the link? And just to give you an idea of doing that, because there's, there's kind of, I don't want to say poor you, that you don't know how to do that, but I'm just gonna show you. Um, but if I am here, okay, on my phone, and I say click the link in bio, the only thing that links on the top of Instagram is the one that's blue. So if you click on that link there, I'm going to take it to, no, this page is not available, hold up. I'm going to click on the link. Oh, that's interesting. There, loading. And that goes straight through to, sorry, it says the page may be broken. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Anyway, generally, that's really bad. You click on that and it would then take you to, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it a different way because maybe because I'm on this channel. So I'm going to go on to Trini London and then look for Trini Woodall and then I'm going to click on the link. There. And then it goes to it, that's why. So that goes straight to the blog and then you've got the, I've done, can you imagine I've done 40 minutes on scarves, but there's so much to say about scarves. So I did scarves now, then I got belts coming. I will do jewellery. I have a lot of jewellery and jewellery is something that we very rarely cull because we kind of, you know, it goes in a box and then it gets mixed up and then there's so many bits of jewellery I find, I don't know about you, that are broken and that I never get fixed. So let's do jewellery next. I'm going to do jewellery this weekend. That's such a good idea. And I've got, I've got a filing system for my jewellery, which I'm going to introduce you to. I know, insane, hey. Um, but I'll do, I'll do jewellery next. And any other things, you're having difficulty culling. I think jewellery and then shoes, don't you? We should do that. Um, Data Moon I'm going to do. Um, which brand is that red peel? It's the Ordinary. What's the name of the roller I always use? I love the Nanette de Gaspé one, but I equally love the, gr the Glow Pro one, which I might have here too, which is one with a little red light. If you suffer from spots, I like this. You, you know, you put it on your spot, gently doing that with the cream underneath that maybe is healing it. You can be sit watching the telly. You need to do it for 10 minutes because the red light doesn't work unless you do it for 10 minutes. But the red light is a healing light. It's a very nice one. You can change the heads on these because you need to change the heads every few months. The Nanette is a kind of throwaway one. Um, but you have to use it about 30, 30 times, 40 times. Um, so it lasts you two or three months. So I haven't burnt my hand. Um, you've received your first Trini stack, Bane. Excellent. Have I used face theory? I haven't. Have I tried junk elephant retinol? I have. And it's not on my top three. Um, but it's a nice one, but it's just not on my top three. I've got a few others. I have done a retinol video on Trini London um, Tea Time blog, so you can have a look there. A jewellery video would be great. Okay, perfect. Um, Bluetooth help. What's the best for dry patches on your face and orange peel type skin? Orange peel type skin, I would say, I believe in a bit of microneedling on that because you want to kind of just stimulate the collagen to to soften that orange peel, which you might have here from scarring, you might have from old acne scars. And I think that with a retinol and, peel, and a peel is a really good combination, will soften that on your face. 
Um, I've got lots of films on it on Trinity London. You've got Universe and you're having trouble using it. It's so dark on me to use it as a liner. Shall I show you Moon and Universe? Should we do that today? That that's gives me nice inspiration. I'm going to do exactly that today. So, all right. Starting off with, and I will go through your questions, ladies. My face is broken out in dry patches, probably because I use too much napsin in my laundry. Can you recommend a remedy? All right, darling. I would say a wonderful thing is by Is Clinical Eye Shield Recovery. I don't know if I have it here to show you. It's fantastic if you've got issues, sensitive skin. Hang on, let's see if I've got it here. No, I haven't got it here. That's a pity. I did used to have it. Um, but Is Shield, Is Shield Recovery Balm is brilliant. And also Cosmetics Recovery Balm is also very good. Can you share your diet and how you keep your gorgeous figure? Suze, I don't have a particular diet, um, but how I tend to eat is I will be, in the morning, I usually have a coffee and I'll have um, some toast, or if I'm being really good, I'll have avocado and poached eggs. On a bad morning, I'd grab at my favorite coffee shop called Hagen on the King's Road, best coffee in the world, um, a kind of delicious, nutty, proteiny um, kind of thing, which gives me lots of, do, you know, it doesn't sump me after half an hour, which a piece of toast will do. Lunch, I have whatever the girls are having in the kitchen, so it could be soup, it could be a little bit of something, but generally I come when the remains are there. And in the evening I eat a proper meal, and um, I'll always have, you know, kind of like, kedgeri, or one of my favorite things is kedgeri, weirdly. Um, or I'll have um, chicken with mashed potato or sweet potato. I just, I have then two chocolate bars at night from Halo, and they are raw chocolate, and that's kind of my day. Um, I drink um, peach iced tea, which is my favourite thing from white teas. Um, so that, that's, my, that's my regime. Um, Trini, I wear her headscarf and I always wear any outfit choosing the wrong colour or prints. Can you help me with that? Um, Shannon, we've got a few ladies who wear headscarves on the um, Trini tribe site. And I think it's really interesting looking at the colours that they wear because they wear different scarves for different things. So. If you go on to Trini Tribe, I think it's a bit of inspiration. And I would say, let me just see. Um, I mean, you might be wearing, wearing it for different reasons, so I'm not presuming that it's because of your religion. But I just, I think Patton can sometimes wear a face. I'll tell you who does them well. Let me just find Ha! Ah, one second. So, Solwa here, she's got different scarves on. But, you know, she, she does tonal scarves so beautifully. And I think scarves are a wonderful opportunity for you to choose the colours that really suit you. And just be tonal about it. So it depends on your um, skin and eye combination. Obviously not your hair combination in this instance. Um, but it's quite a complicated thing for me to give you advice on. But I just say get a bit of inspiration from there. Also, the modest. The Modist is a wonderful site for um, people who dress with a headscarf and they've got good inspiration too. Um, Trinity London, Australia, I know, I know we want to do Trinity London, Australia so much. Um, oh, I've got to go in a minute, hold on. Lila, English went so well, fantastic bunny. I'm really happy it went well, <laughs> my, my daughter's doing exams now. The new lip color is called, there's two new ones and they're called Lady J and VB and I will show you today. So let me just get out what I'm going to use and I can show you that and I will incorporate two of them today. I'm probably going to do actually, um, let me find it because I've got everything mixed up here. Let me just ask. Is anyone there to get me a Lady J and a VB? Thanks, Tom. Sorry, I'm going to get one to do that. So I'm just going to start off quick, quick, quick as a quick, quick, quick as a quick, quick um, with, thank you very much, darling. That's great. Um, there we go. Bit of light medium. I don't need so much um, foundation at the moment because I've been doing so many skincare routines, but I'm just doing a very light touch of BFF. It's winter. It's not sunny. Just two pumps like that. And then I'm going to do a bit of Trintron. I can find my little Trintron there. Um, and some people prefer it this way, but you can do it with a brush. So if you want to do it with a brush, you can do it with a brush. I'm going to just do under my eyes a bit like that. The joy of just a touch is it really blends well. And I need to just put it 
where I've got a little bit of discoloration. And because I've done a couple of peels, around my nose can be a little redder. So I just go there. So I sort of put it on with a brush. This is my favorite way of applying it. And then, and then I'll just blend it in. So then I'm going to do one of the new shades and I'm going to do in this instance Lady J. Lady J is a really pretty sort of, it's kind of peachy, not too pinky and not too apricotty. And just put a bit on like that. There. And then I'll put a bit on my cheek. So any of you who um, feel you're missing wigs, it's a very pretty color this to substitute and it's the same tone in VB even more so even more apricotty like that um, put that back on my stack and then I'm gonna go to moon so I'm gonna start with some moon and then smoke it up with a bit of universe so moon is a very silvery shade and I'm gonna just do a wash like that there and just sort of put it kind of all over It blends beautifully. It's part of our new Rocket Man moon. Like that. Okay, so it's sort of echoing in a way, the shimmer off top. And then I'm going to do Universe, which I had somewhere to apply. I said, look, there's Universe. Let me just, there's Universe. So Universe, even though it's black, it's not totally black. So you look at it like that, and you think it's black, but you could really wash it out. So I'm going to just show you first. If I put it, oh, not on that hand, hey. If I put it on there, I can really have it dense, or I can do it as a real wash, like that. So I'm gonna start with a tiny little smidgen, like this, to build up a bit of color. Put it in the front of my eye, like that. So you saw Moon on its own, darling, and I think with Moon it's lovely to do ethereal look, so that pinkiness with the Moon. But um, I'm now putting the universe on to, and I'm going in the upper crease of my eye and just really blending with a clean finger. Go back to the other side and equal it out, like that. And then if I want to do a line, because all our products can be eyeliners, I just take that lovely brush from Real Techniques, like that, which is a slanted eyebrow brush, and I'm just going to really lift up my eyelid and put that in the crease. So many of you ladies who do a black eyeliner, this is what you might be doing. Like that. So I've lifted up, so I'm, I'm getting it right in there. And then I'm gonna do the tiniest amount. I always do too much on this. Just pressing it underneath each lash. quite lightly. And then there. Really just sort of wish it back and forth, but try and stay high. I'm not using a proper mirror, so it's very difficult for me to get it right like that. So then I need to definitely blend it out. So I will look up and just blend that till it's an imperceptible little smokiness like that. And then the other side, like that. And then I'm gonna blend the little bit I've done in the crease of my eyelash. I'm bringing that a little bit higher up there. And then the other side, like that. And you can just wish, swish back and forth. You can go as deep as you like, but I think for a daytime look, that's probably as deep as I would go. Let me just check it in the other mirror. Take away that big splodge of black, which I'm sure some of you have told me is there. And then I might take a bit more moon, actually. I'm going to take a little bit more moon and just put that on again. Like that, to soften anything I've done, which is too strong for daytime. Like that. So that's quite um, pinky and greyish, and it goes with what the outfit I'm going to wear today. So I'm going to take off the, I'm going to take off the feel now before more of you say, "Have I burnt my hand?" 
So there we go. When you take it off, you'll really feel um, you really feel the that your hand is very clean is the wrong word, but I just feel the smoothness there. So I look at that. And there, there. I don't know if you can see the difference up close, but it's good. It's six pounds ninety. I mean, I think if you wanted to do a kind of hand moment, if you're somebody who feels are my hands matching my face, then it could be time for you to consider that as an option. I'm just going to now do a little bit of mascara. I go in, I bring it round, and pull it out. Twist it, go right into your eyeball and pull it out. And then take the last bits and just comb up. Just put an extra little bit on, like that. There. And then I'm going to do my brow here and just add in a bit more depth to my brow. I'm going to get my um, colour done today with Nisha. Yeah. I'll just check that in the mirror. Yes, so I'm happy with that. I think when you do a slightly smoky eye, always think, do I need to put a little bit more concealer under my eye? So I'm just going to do a tiny bit more concealer because you don't want to make it look like you've got dark circles. There, like that. And then I'm gonna go back to my um, lip to cheek and I was using my new one, Lady J, there. And I'm just gonna put a bit more on my lips, like that. I might do a tiny bit more on my cheek. You can do this with a brush. Some people like to do blusher with a brush. Charlotte sometimes does it on me like this. But you just then get that kind of softer, fuller blush. Like that. There. Okay, I'm done. Makeup is done. I might probably, I'll finish off my stack because what I love to do is mixing together. And because Lila has been watching, Lila, even though you finished your exam, I'm going to add Lila on my stack and just do a little add in a little heightened colour and a little shimmer there and that's my perfect smoky eye day look with my stack there we go just get the hair a bit more organised I might do I didn't even do miracle blush today and I haven't done face finish because I don't feel I think I want that glow all over on the face Okay, I will answer your questions, ladies, and I'm going off to talk to the ladies of Kensington and Chelsea, which I'm excited to do. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, good morning. Um, okay. Uh, concealer under my eyes makes my bags look worse. What's the answer, please? I think if you have bags, it's about drainage as much as it's about product. So look at my lymphatic drainage films that I've done because they are important to do if you have bags because you need to kind of get rid of the excess fluid underneath your eyes. And I agree with you, a concealer won't help. Concealers help to me mainly with a dark circle. But if you suffer from excess fluid, you need to just practice drainage, which will start here to unblock your lymphatic and then you bring it down to your clavicle and then you go on your cheek and then you can go onto your eye and then you can start pumping. If you start on your eye and this is blocked, you'll never really get rid of the bags. And I think bags also can be the result of an excess of dairy for some people. They can also be the result of sleeping too flat for others. So there's lots of ways to explore to remove bags and I wouldn't start with um, concealer because that's temporary and bags are fluid. Fluid, ladies, fluid. Um, the ordinary caffeine is perfect for that. Yes, the ordinary caffeine will help because that will stimulate it. Um, that hairbrush is the Aveda brush, which I love and I've used for years. Lila introduced me to it, I think. 
Um, I'm just seeing your questions here. I'll have a practice tomorrow with the universe. Great, good, darling. Because I think it's um, I think it's really good. Somebody just said I'm on Pornhub. Really? Wow, that's interesting. That's why I might get some of those weirdos. Pornhub. Um, I've got a smidge on my writing. You're so blue bird, blue eyed bird. Have I got rid of that now? Yes, I have. Okay, that's great. And I got a bit of some reason I got some Lady J up there. But there was a quickie this morning, ladies. A real quickie, just to show you a little look. And if there's looks you would like me to do, DM me. If there's colours you're thinking, how should I wear them? Or Trini London. I'm very you know, um, Shasha on Tuesday is going to do a Ask Shasha and we're going to be focusing on the new colours. But you can also go on to Trini London on Tuesday to our Instagram where she'll be doing a live. And she'll be going through all the colours um, and um, looking at what you might want to try. So the top is MGSM, which is an Italian brand. And I've had this for, I got it from Netta Porter, I think. I spent a fortune on it, but it is my most worn top of any top. It's the kind of top I put on when I'm going to do a sort of public chat. Um, I just always do. It's my reliable friend. Um, okay, ladies, have a good day. Make the most of it. If you woke up feeling lousy, um, you can always reset that button, can't you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Pornhub, I love that.